All right, folks, before I get too far into this video, I want to state that Jupiter has connections with the number four. Let's start with the magic square of Jupiter, which is a four by four magic square. Add any line. It sums to the same number. Pick any row. It sums to the same number. Any column sums to the same number. You're always going to get a total of 34. Add up the diagonal line. 34. The other diagonal line, 34. Pick a quadrant, the four blocks in the, any of these quadrants, 34. And there's other ways to get this 34. I'm not going to get too far into that. But 34 is a Fibonacci number. For those unaware of Fibonacci numbers, I will leave a link in the description box. There will be a few links, actually. I'm going to talk a little bit about composite numbers as well. Not too many people are talking about composite numbers, but 34, again, is a Fibonacci number. And if you look at the Fibonacci sequence, technically zero is in the sequence, but imagine that zero is the starting point, and then you jump to the first Fibonacci number from 0 would be 1. The next one after that would be 1. Then it would be 2. Then 3, then 5, then 8, then 13, then 21, then 34. So 34, if we don't include the 0, 34 is the ninth Fibonacci number. Next I'm going to show the ninth composite number and where the number 9 falls on the composite numbers chart. Like I said, there'll be links in the description box, but a composite number is basically any number that's not prime, not zero, and not one. So here's the first nine composite numbers. Notice that the number nine is the fourth composite number, and the ninth composite number is 16. This is going to bring us back to the magic square of Jupiter. First note that 16 is 4 squared, meaning 4 times itself. And once again, the magic square of Jupiter is a 4 by 4 magic square. A total of 16 cells. And you notice the top left number is 4. Anytime I've seen the magic square of Jupiter, it's always been, it's always appeared just pretty much like this. I haven't, other than a painting by, I think it was called Melan, Melancholia by Durer. I don't know how to pronounce the guy's name, but it was the same numbers. It was just rearranged a little bit. But yeah, you look up magic square of Jupiter, you're going to see pretty much what you're seeing here. And I've only ever seen four in the top left corner. I know this is a matter of perception, but I always see the number four in the symbol for Jupiter. To me, it looks like the number four. I know other people talk about other numbers, and I see where they're coming from. The first time I've ever learned it, the teacher that taught me it drew it even more like a four than what you're seeing there. But yeah, the magic square here, all these, you always take in these four numbers, four cells, and getting the same number. Pick any line, any row, any column, either one of the diagonals. And there's so many more ways that you can get that number 34 and just repeating one more time here 34 is the ninth Fibonacci number the ninth composite number is 16 which again is 4 squared or 4 times itself and 9 is the fourth composite number 